Hey guys, today we get some cards that were spoiled, and I know what you're thinking. Hey, these are Hour of Devastation. Nope, they are Axlon, which is the next set. It is the set with the pirates and the dinosaurs. And as we can see from here, it actually looks very, very good. This leak, quotation mark, was probably due at the printer. How do we know? Because these cards, first of all, the photo quality is high enough you can actually read it. I will have the translation of each of these cards. What we do know is Jace will be on this plane, and that is quite exciting. So when we talk about leaks, this is, has to be a leak from the people printing the cards, just how it looks that the fact that they are all foils, the fact that they are not cut. We also, interestingly enough, we know what land we get as well, which is Sun Petal Grove. As you can see from the top right, that is a Jace. That is a Jace on the top right. So the person who took this photo obviously had a higher quality camera than most people. They are likely to know every single mythic, every single rare, every single card because it is a printing sheet of cards. Now, who's leaking this? Why is it being leaked? Who knows? But let's go over the cards that are leaked and go over if they are good or not. Uh, Sun Petal Grove being the main one, since now we ha land base is so important. I'm glad it is a reprint. So we have four double blue target player draw seven cards. That's going to be really fun. Captain Lannery Storm. <laughs> He's got like a last name. Uh, two in a red legendary creature, human pirate. It has haste. Whenever Captain Lannery Storm attacks, create a colorless treasure artifact token with tap it, sacrifice the artifact. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So exactly identical to Lotus Bloom, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, one of the things that I want to mention is we already actually know the mechanics. How crazy is that? We already know the lands, which is really important. We're not getting new ones, and we know the mechanics. A lot of you will probably say, oh, this is fake, this is fake. So unlikely given the high quality resolution and the fact that it's a printing sheet, right? It's very difficult to fake that. And if you were going to fake it, why would you fake it in this manner? There would be easier, easier ways to do it. So whenever I see like a fake card, it's pretty obvious it's fake because it's a single standalone card, which has poor resolution and there's no, no new mechanics. It's like somebody's concept of what it should be like, as opposed to an actual paid team who work full time on developing these mechanics. So Sun Petal Grove, very important reprint. Spyglass, artifact. Whenever it enters a battlefield, look at opponent's hand, then choose any card name. Activated abilities of sources from the chosen name cannot be activated unless they're mana abilities. Very cool. Definitely this artifact hate, which is becoming more and more important as we move on. Since, you know, there are strong cards. And at the end of the day, you do want to be you do want to prepare for those strong cards. So I like it. I like the fact that we are getting so early these leaks. We're not even an hour of devastation yet. And yet we have the next set leaks. Uh, next, Vanquisher's Banner 5 artifact. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control get the chosen type, get plus one, plus one. Whenever you cast a creature spell of the chosen type, draw a card. Love it. It used to be we had to buy like separate Lord cards. So like, oh, I'm playing elves this month. Oh, let me buy the elf Lord. Oh, zombies. But now we have this type of banner effect, which is very, very good. Next, Daring Saboteur. Creature human pirate. Two and a blue. Daring Saboteur can't be blocked this turn. Whenever it deals damage to a player, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. And we also see Jace, something Jace blank castaway. So Jace returns 
love, love. I mean, obviously this person knows what Jace is like, and they probably shot their photo in this way. Can we expect future leaks from this person? Probably. It's so unlikely they just took up one picture and posted it when it's all in front of them. And that really tells you, like, what is going on? Wizard of Coast punishes leaks so badly. Like, if you're a judge and you just talk about leaks on the Facebook page, but, like, you're not the one who was at the print store, they're going to punish you a lot to the point that you will probably sue them in the California court. But if you're just a random printer, hey, everything's fair game. But very exciting set. I am confused why we are seeing Jace again, but nonetheless, wow. We don't even get Hour of Devastation cards to spoil, but we get Ixalan. I mean, this tells you that there are people in the know who can make financial decisions based on what they see. Now, Sun Petal Grove is not like a great one, right? But if they were going to reprint, let's say, the Zendikar Fetchlands, then you could do a sell, right? You could sell them. Next, we are going to look at some other artwork. This is Lightning Bolt, I believe, from the Invercation. It's not confirmed, but I mean, look at it. If it's not Lightning Bolt, I would be confused what it actually would be. However, given that we don't have a Lightning Bolt, although we have Chain Lightning, which is, in my opinion, far worse because you cannot play it in Modern, which is where you would want to play it, this is likely to be Lightning Bolt. So we're going to get another batch of Invocations. Let me know what Invocations you want to see. Lightning Bolt definitely is on the top of my list. I think it's going to be very expensive. It might be that we don't see Invocations for some time, which is okay. It's definitely okay. Next, we are going to look at a Locust God. And that Locust God is pretty cool. So we are going to get a bunch of gods now, and that is probably not surprising to anyone. However, it's nice. I do like it. I think that the gods are very good for casual players. I do hope that they are stronger and maybe multicolored, and even to the point that they just need to get better. I'm not sure how to improve them except for power level, but power level aside, the artwork is fantastic. I hate Locust, so it's kind of creepy. But hopefully we get other types of gods like a, a undead god, a zombie god would be kind of cool. Not like a Bantu type, but like a, something that pumps up zombies, which specifically... Oh, tribal gods would be really fun. I think that would be great. And lastly, is this Birds of Paradise on the excellent plane? Looks like it. I would be surprised if this artwork was not Birds of Paradise. Maybe it's a piece of land, but outside of land, I can't really see what else it could be. Most importantly, we get so many cards spoiled from the next next set. And I hope these, I mean, leaks are kind of fun to go over because half the people think it's fake and then half the people, oh, it's real, but it's not good. I mean, it's the same thing with banning. So I, I know a lot of you don't want me to talk about this issue anymore, but it's the same exact principle I were banning. If they ban the card, they should never have printed it in the first place. So it's not the player's fault that they played a very strong card. It is Wizard of the Coast's fault that they printed the card in the first place. That's why you pay the money. That's why the R&D. Let's be honest, the cost of cardboard is very cheap. What you're paying for is IP and their mechanics and the design. So when they fail by banning five cards, and I do consider that failing, then that's bad. The same can be said about leaks. Why punish the people who are talking about the leaks? Why not punish the leakers? And why not make an effort to punish you know, people who are doing the leaks? And that's how you stop it. You cannot stop it by punishing people in a Facebook group who talk about it, who don't actually know where it came from. Anyway, that's it, guys. Talk to you later.